Hello everyone and welcome back to Brackets Academy. In this video we'll talk a little bit about Ionic, what it is and where I think Ionic 4 is heading towards. So what is Ionic? Ionic is an open source framework that features a rich front-end building blocks and UA components that help us develop hybrid mobile applications and web applications. For those of you who are not familiar with hybrid mobile applications, they are built with technologies such as HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So basically they are web applications with one key difference. And that is that they run inside a native web view which allows us to have access to some native features on the device and at the same time they can be installed like a normal native application. For the native features we have something called Cordova which is the bridge between our web application and the native features of the device like the camera, the Bluetooth, the GPS and many more. Cordova offers us more than 200 native APIs that we can use in our hybrid application. Now going back to Ionic, at the time of the making of this video, Ionic is still in version 3, but version 4 is right around the block since the beta is already released. When Ionic was first released, it was based on top of AngularJS and it is now known as Ionic 1 or Ionic.js. Moving on with the development of the web, we have Ionic 2, which was built on Angular 2 and both were based on TypeScript. Same goes for Ionic 3. But now with the coming of Ionic 4, we have some interesting options available. Here we can use Ionic with pretty much any web framework out there like Angular, React, Vue or no framework at all, therefore making Ionic components universal. Ionic team managed to do this by uh, rebuilding the framework using standard web APIs and wrapping their components as web components. Speaking about web components, Ionic team also created Stencil which is a simple compiler for generating web components and progressive web applications, making it easier for building fast and future-rich applications in the browser. Besides Stencil, Ionic team also created Capacitor which is a cross-platform app runtime that makes it easy to build web applications that run natively on iOS, Android, desktop and the web. They call these applications native progressive web apps and they represent the next evolution beyond hybrid applications. So Capacitor is something like a replacement for Cordova, but it not only works with mobile native features, it also supports desktop native features. But of course, this is the world of JavaScript, and if you want, you can still use Cordova, or you can have a mix of both. So in short, with Ionic 4, you will not only be able to build hybrid mobile application, you will also be able to build desktop applications and package them using Electron, which helps us package our web application into a native desktop app. And of course, we have an easier way of creating progressive web applications, which I think is the future of Ionic and the future of the web. So this was something like an introduction or a brief explanation of Ionic. And in, in our next video, we'll take a look of how to set up our environment for Ionic and we will build our first Ionic application. I'll put a video link down in the description and a thumbnail for that video in this one. Thanks everybody for watching, subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in the next one.